Welcome to Outside the Box. Alright guys, many pieces later, as you can tell, lots, lots of <laughs> clippings. Oh man, yeah, this was challenging. This is hard! To say the least, right? I mean, I think, what do you think the challenging part was? Clip, clipping these wings, <laughs> these wings! These wings, these wings, which, um, one broke. I think you broke it. Broke here, but that is... Kind of expected because we knew uh, printing this that this was going to be thin and we're going to possibly have the problem of it breaking. Uh, so we'll have to reprint wings before we paint it. Right, we'll reprint the wings, we're going to take them up. I'm really impressed though at how well this Sunlu ABS like resin printed this very thin, I mean this is like a... Paper thin. It's not as paper thin. Wings, um, you can almost see through them, it's kind of funny but... Uh, printed them really well and the supports held up and I, I really didn't have any issues. The ball joint works on this wing. This wing came out pretty well, though we did have the end of it get clipped off, but that's just something that happens. Um, we'll thicken it up and it should print fine, but here is good axis. Yes. All together, ball joints working, hinge joints working, tails attached, heads attached, head pivots, everything works. Work, except the wings. Except the wings. The wings just need to be redone. It's not, and they, and they will work. This one will connect to the ball joint and swivel. It's just, here, I can just show you. I'll just put it on there and you can see a one winged Cavaxis, right? Because we want a one winged Cavaxis. Let's see, how does he stand up with that wing? Well, it's harder because it's not balanced. <laughs> it's not balanced now. You gotta balance them out. It's like every action figure ever. Standing like the arms oh, look at that. He's standing up. Does he look okay? I think he looks pretty fine. He's using his tail to balance him out just a little bit. And that was kind of the intent with the tail was to have it as a balance or something you could lean him against. So the hands, we have two different hands. One is designed to hold his staff. Which we haven't printed yet. Which we haven't printed yet. We have to build that and make it. But it's a lot staff. harder because he has like a floating orb in the middle. So <laughs> it might not be floating. It's not going to be floating. <laughs> There'll probably be like a little pillar holding it up. And then his other hand is designed to hold fireball. So he would have a transparent green, green fireball. fireball. This has been an interesting and fun project because we started off with our really inexpensive uh basically dental molding resin right <laughs> just to get proportions and size see how things turned out and these are really good for just evaluation purposes now this one before you is printed out of the sunlu abs like resin it is definitely not as durable as our um uh, resi one anti-impact which we actually have okay. two of the shoulder and um, forearms or sh yeah, shoulder, sorry, not forearms, the shoulder and the upper arms printed 
in this resin. And hopefully we can print one day the whole action figure out of that stuff. So the whole like action figure, yeah. Way strong. Yeah. So, but the, the, the caveat with this resin is the, the temperature fluctuations have to be very minimal. But summer's coming. Summer's so. coming. It's warmer outside. So we're going to run this resin and print this figure this. in this. Get a get a more durable character. But as far as the ABS like, the Sunlu resin, it's pretty durable. I'm, I'm impressed with the... Um, I mean, you can just tell us this, this stuff. It's pretty bendable. It's got some flexibility. Um, pretty impressive for that matter. And it worked out really well. We have made, I don't know how many legs, just trying to uh, get a feel for tolerances and what makes sense for the joints that we have. Um, you know, more we've feet. got more feet. Here's a different here's an impact resin foot. Um, this was a different joint. This one was an overlapping ball or overlapping joint. It's an overlapping pivot joint. <laughs> this was a through pivot joint where we have a pen that goes through. And that's what we ended up using with this guy. So the arms are pinned. The legs are pinned. The, arm, the shoulder sockets are ball joints. The hip sockets are ball joints. So you can take off the arms and the legs. You can remove the tail and you can pop off the head. But... You might want to be careful. <laughs> you might want to be careful, at least when you're using this resin. Um, but anyway, I, it's really cool. It's been a fun process. But like Will we're said, not done. we're not done. We we need to paint it. We need to uh, print, him. print the wings, another version of the wings. And like you said, we want to print the rest of him in our anti-impact resin. Um, yeah, I am pretty excited. Look, this would look like two wings. The two wings right there, you know, pretty cool. What is he going to be painted? What color is Kavaxis? Mainly just red, light red, and green. Light red and green. I mean, he has eyes are green, and then, I mean, yeah, it's just black, red, and light red. Light red. It's and pretty I, simple. It's pretty simple. So we'll airbrush him. I don't know. We might use a vinyl paint. Uh, we could always do acrylics, but we might need a vinyl paint. Now, can you play with this guy? Eh. <laughs> yeah. Eh. You can. I mean, you can. It, it, you know, if you're gentle and careful with articulations with this ABS-like resin, you can kind of play with him. However, the anti-impact resin is... You could give that to like a six-year-old. I think, yeah. I think they you could give this to a six-year-old and they could Slam not it. break it. When this was built, the scale that it was originally built at was about 12 inches tall. So about double his height. Do you realize how huge this is? And then when we shrunk it down to kind of get to the same size as our 2012 characters. 2012 characters. So here's Leonardo, there's Shredder. So Shredder was kind of the really tall guy. Really tall guy. And is he the tallest one? Him well, and, he's uh, like Snake the same. Weed? Yeah, him and Snake Weed are like the tallest. So in the in the show though, it seemed like Tavaxis was pretty tall too. Yeah, he's really so tall. So these guys are similar in height. Uh, Shredder and Kavaxis. Leo is the five and a half standard character, but when we shrunk him down, a lot of the details in his spikes, his fingers, like they got pretty sharp. I mean, these are some pretty sharp points here, so um, we've, <laughs> we've rounded him up a little bit. We made some adjustments while we were putting this together, as you saw in the video, uh, and, and those adjustments we then translate into our model so that the next one we print uh, will go together much more easier and quicker and we're not sitting here uh trying to finesse the joints to get them to work but oh yeah and here is our very the first action figure before we even had a youtube channel yes this is the creep the creep and you can see how tall he is he's taller than Kavaxis. he's <laughs> he's way taller he is massive he's like another half inch taller than Kavaxis. Yeah. And he's fully painted and fully articulated. Fully this articulated. This guy definitely has way better articulation than this guy. And our plan is hopefully to redo this creep. Make him a yeah. lot better this with is, the better uh, resin. This is version one. There's going to be a version two. But this material here, this is a... It's pretty um, strong, but it's not. Form Labs. This was done on a Form Labs uh, resin printer. And with their standard gray uh, resin. And it's held up pretty well. But he has really beefy joints. He has the the uh, pin joints, much like and they're the hard to move sometimes. Vaxis, they can hard to move. Part of the reason hard to move is because we painted it, and when we painted it, they got thicker. They got thicker, and the joints when they rub against each other, the paint kind of gets in between there, and the tolerances. We we didn't allow for paint tolerances with this guy, 
This one, no allow for paint tolerances. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for joining in and watching as we finally got this thing together out kind of after, of. kind of, yeah. after weeks and weeks, maybe even months of trying different resins and figuring out what works. We got them printed. Put together. Put together and really excited. So stay tuned for the next video where we print out our impact resin with Kavaxis with our anti-impact resin. And, and paint we'll, him. And we'll paint him and show them off and you can check them out and let us know what you think. So until then, catch you on the next one.